welcome back to another video. My name is Rocio with Rocio Jimenez Cosplay and today I have a New Year's type of video. I know this is kind of late because it's a couple weeks too late but at the same time it's still January so I still see it fit uh, to do this. So this video is all about my 2022 life goals. So if you have me on Instagram, you might have saw that I posted my 2022 overall life goals. And I actually, this is my first year doing it. I have always kind of set goals for myself, um, saying like, hey, I'm going to focus on this this year and this this year. And I normally do end up focusing a lot on like those certain things, sometimes like one or two drops off, but I've never had it written down. So this year I really wanted to write it down. I did it last year with my small business goals and I was able to complete seven out of the eight. So this year I did 10 for my small business. So I am doing 10 for my overall life goals. I am so excited to kind of give you all the breakdown on my business YouTube channel, which I will list below for y'all. I went ahead and I pretty much did the same thing, but with my small business goals. And it was just an overall breakdown of my 2022 goals for small business, my 22, 2022 goals for life, you know, like overall. So let's go ahead and get started with my 2022 life goals. So number one is get to 2,000 Instagram followers. That is on my Rocio Jimenez Cosplay um, Instagram. So right now I am, let's see, as of today, and it keeps going up and down, I am at 1,663. So it goes up and down a lot. I'm staying in that like 660 amount. Um, just kind of keeps staying there. So I hope to get to 2,000 by the end of the year. Um, I'm going to try to post more reels and try to post on a regular basis. So um, hopefully, you know, I can get more traction back onto my Instagram page. The way I was able to grow it in the first place was I've had the account since 2012. So I do have people that I know personally that I went to school with on there. And then also when I started my cosplay journey, I got a lot of people from the cosplay scene that started following me. And I started following them because we became friends. And you know, that's kind of how it went. Um, a lot of my posts now are just about my overall life because I don't technically have too much time for cosplay. I do have a couple things that I want to do cosplay related this year, which I will mention here in a little bit. But overall, I am focusing a lot on my fashion and style, mainly because I'm already dressing up for the day. You know, it's not um, some time that I have to set aside for cosplay purposes, for example. So yeah, I'm going to focus a lot on trying to get to that 2000 follower mark this year. My second goal is to get to 500 YouTube subscribers. So if you have been on this channel for quite some time, you know that I post every week. I post every Wednesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Central Time, unless I state otherwise on my Instagram, um, which is very, very rare. So I have been posting consistently for the past two years now I believe I think last year I did like a hundred and thirty something videos and then the year before that same thing a hundred and thirty something videos so um I have just been posting consistently and it's actually helped me improve and grow in my personal like job that I do every single day well Monday through Friday my full-time job so um yeah, YouTube actually has helped me a lot in growing not only as a content creator, but just growing in my job, my full time job. And I just want to be able to grow my community here. I want to be able to just show y'all my personality overall. I've actually been creating YouTube videos since like 2009 something like that. Um, I have old channels that all those videos are private now. And um, 
they were bad days. Oh my gosh, I used to do like these uh, music videos with my siblings. Oh, the cringe. I literally told myself, uh, once I reach a certain point on YouTube, I will release a montage of those cringy videos. Um, they do have a lot of copyright music, but I will show like little clips of them because, oh boy, they are very cringy. But yeah, my goal is to get to 500 YouTube subscribers. If you're not subscribed already, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. I post all sorts of types of videos. So if you rather look to see what kind of videos I post first, make sure to go ahead and check that out. I have a bunch of videos from the past two years that you can go ahead and check out. So number three, I wanna start Twitch streaming regularly again. So if you guys don't know, I am a Twitch streamer as well. I started Twitch streaming back in 2016 and I would average about 25 to 30 viewers. Um, and I would literally just do just chatting a lot or I would draw like physically with the camera, like just pointing down on my drawing. Like that's how I started and I would play Modern Warfare 2 and I was, I was something else. Um, but I stopped and then I started back up in 2020 during the peaks of the pandemic at the beginning of the pandemic. I know we're in a peak again, but um, at the beginning and I streamed all of 2020 and then I stopped 2021 to focus on my business. But I want to start streaming again, which I already have. I stream. I try to do it like once a week and I normally stream like my drawing or um, some sort of artsy thing for my business. Sometimes I stream video games with my friends, but very rarely. So that's pretty much what I've been up to when it comes to streaming, but I do wanna get back to streaming regularly. I do not plan on making a schedule because I've learned that when I made a schedule, I was very flustered and I just wasn't in a mood. It felt too much. I felt like it was such a requirement and I, I got to the point where I didn't want to stream anymore. Um, it felt like a chore to do it. So I'm streaming more when I'm feeling very energetic and feel like I can communicate with people on stream. I, when I'm live, I want to be able to give all of my natural energy. I don't want to be able to give fake energy, if that makes sense. Um, because everybody knows what that means. Like, like if you go to a party that someone dragged you to, are you gonna have that energy or are you just gonna put a face on for, you know, the people, right? I don't wanna have to put a face on for you guys. I want to be my true self. And i um, not saying that in the past I wasn't my true self, but sometimes I did have to pick myself up and make sure I had the energy for the camera and it was very exhausting for me at the end of the night. So I'm not gonna have a schedule but it is one of my goals to get back on it regularly. And I am already starting little by little, even if it's once a month or once a week. So yeah. And I have my Twitch link in the description below. If you guys want to check that out. My fourth goal is to regularly post on Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I don't post so regularly. I've started to post more regularly now, but I didn't post that regularly in 2021, mainly because in 2020, I actually got burnt out. I did, I think it was 34 cosplays in one year. And that meant doing, I think two cosplays a week, and that meant doing photo shoots the same day, recording TikToks the same day. And I got very, 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 very burnt out. Like I love doing cosplays, I love it. But the burnout was so real to the point where it took all of my energy to do that. And then I moved in um, 2020. So like there was like a lot of I mean, in 2021, there was like a lot of big things that were happening in my life in 2021. 
that I honestly did not have the energy for cosplay. I said, I'm going to focus on my life and I did. Um, so I wasn't really posting on Instagram and I also ended up gaining 15 pounds back from what I ended up losing. If you guys don't know, I lost 35 pounds. Um, and that's because I ended up gaining it from working in an office, but, um, I ended up losing those 35 pounds and the fact that I gained 15 pounds back made me really depressed and I really want to lose that weight again. Um, I get really self-conscious about it. It's just the weight has always been an issue for me. I'm always up, I'm always down. And when I was younger, I was always really thin. Like it's just, that's what I'm used to um, for myself because when I end up gaining weight, I don't know how to dress myself. I don't know how I feel, like I feel weird. I don't feel comfortable in certain situations. It's really weird, but that's just kind of how I've always been. I know that's a really bad way to view things. Um, I've slowly tried to step myself away from it, but if I do not continue to um, manage the way I eat, manage the way I look overall. I actually let myself go and that's how I ended up gaining 35 pounds to the point where I got told by a doctor that I actually had to lose weight for my health reasons. Um, cancer runs in my family, so I really wanted to make sure to get healthy and that was one of the biggest reasons why I lost those 35 pounds. So I wanted to make sure that I was good to go because I do have a gene in my system that they don't know if it's cancerous. That could eventually turn into cancerous gene with later studies, right? We don't know, right? So it's just a whole debacle and weight has always been a thing for me. And sometimes I don't feel like I could take pictures. Sometimes I don't feel like I look good in videos and, um, some of the photographers I've worked with could tell you that I have delayed photo shoots for the longest time, not only because I'm busy, but because I wasn't comfortable in my body at that time. So I do want to start posting regularly on Instagram. Again, I'm thinking more of style videos, as I mentioned before, maybe some reels, um, cosplay stuff very occasionally, but we will see. And I just want to post about my life. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Number five, I want to do at least two new cosplays. I have a bunch of cosplays in this bin right here, this, this green bin right here. I think I have about 12 in there and I want to do at least two of them. Uh, it could be from that bin. It could be um, something just from home. I do not plan on buying anything brand new. Um, spending is something that I love to do, but I really need to pay back credit cards right now, mainly because I went on vacation two times in 2021. Um, we went to Disney World and that took a lot of my money. So I know travel has been one of my main focuses and I just do not have the money. I have a cosplay wish list, but I never tell people you have to buy anything from there. If you guys want me to cosplay something, I you guys can always look at that. I need to update it for sure. But um, yeah, it's just, cosplay is very expensive. Let me just say that. It is a very, very, very expensive thing to do. And I have 12 cosplays right there. So I'm either gonna do that or use things that I have at home to be able to cosplay whatever I'm feeling. Um, which also says, if you guys recommend a cosplay, um, it's gonna be if I want to do it with the stuff I have here or I don't do it at all or I only do makeup because honestly, it costs money. <laughs> you can't just be going up to a cosplayer and being like, hey, can you do this cosplay without like actually providing them with the costume to do it or the resources to do it because time is also very sensitive for people. So just wanted to throw that out there for people that do randomly um, ask for cosplayers to do certain cosplays and then they get upset that we don't do it. We honestly cannot do it without the resources, the money and the supplies. So, um, or the costume, if you like end up getting the costume for us off of our wishes or anything. I know a lot of cosplayers tend to mention that and I just want to mention it right now because it does get very stressful. Like 
very, very, very stressful, especially because a lot of the time we aren't getting anything out of the cosplay besides like the serotonin of doing a cosplay, um, not a monetary value for, you know, putting out this content creation for a lot of us cosplayers. Alrighty, so my sixth goal is to finish at least one work in progress cosplay. So I have a couple work in progress ones, uh, one of them being Lava Girl, which she is very complicated and very hard, mainly because there's a lot of spray paint, there's a lot of airbrush, there's a lot of um, EVA foam, a lot of, there's so many things I actually would like to redo on that cosplay, which I might do in the future if I ever have that type of energy and time. I have the space for it now. I live in a house and that was one of the main reasons I wanted to move into a house is so I could work on cosplays like that and not have to be out in my like out in front of the front door by my apartment doing it. I could be in my backyard doing it in my garage doing it. So I have the space now, but do I have the time per se? Not really. If I showed y'all my calendars for just January, as I look at this calendar, it is just for this week, it is like this long of stuff I have to do. So I, j I wish I had the time to do it. Maybe I will get back to it and redo it and record the process or just redo it. I don't know, we'll see. And I'm not promising anything. I never promise anything when it comes to um, if I'm going to do something like that because I do not have the time. I really don't. I always say I wish I had more time in my day. I wish I had more hands because my brain is constantly and I mean constantly on a treadmill like <laughs> Because I always want to do so many things where I'm like, I want to do this and I want to do that and that and that and that. But do I have the time? I don't. I wish I had the time. But other things have to take priority and I put my happiness first. That's always how it's been is the things that make me happy are the things that go first. And if I think that one thing is going to make me happier than the other, I'm going to put that thing in my number one priority instead. So um, right now, personally working on Lava Girl, it's a hard one to go back to because it was very stressful, and very tiring. And I would be working on it from like morning to night on like a weekend. So it would take up an entire day. <sighs> that is Lava Girl. I have Lunette as well from the comfy couch she is very close to being done like i mean like right there so i think if i finish one working progress cosplay this year it is going to be lunette am i promising that no but she is the one cosplay that i feel like i could finish this year and like I said, that's if I make the time, but out of those two, I think it's going to be Lunette. So we will see. I, I do look really cute as Lunette. So I, I, I really should finish it because I, I can't wait to do the reels and everything for Lunette. Like, see, like I have such an excitement to finish Lunette because me and Lunette, like I could watch Comfy Couch as an adult and I love it. I still love it. It's like having me watch Sesame Street. I still love Sesame Street. I'm 23, y'all, and I still love watching those shows. Yes, teach me about the alphabet. Yes, teach me about time. Like, I am down. Like, please teach me how to stretch. <laughs> like, all those things. I love it. I love it. I'm fine with it. I have watched Comfy Couch on replay on YouTube. It's happened. So it will probably be Lunette. Like I said, I'm not promising anything, but she is the closest to being done. All right. So my seventh goal for this year 
is to continue to grow my small business. So I go in further depth about this in my small business YouTube video goals video, um, which I will link in the description below for y'all. But um, I have been focusing on my small business all of 2021, and I want to make sure that I still continue to focus on it in 2022. My reasoning being because I have just started growing and it's because I got myself out there and I want to continue to grow and see where my business can take me because I love my business. I, it is something I am so passionate about. It makes me so happy. And being able to do art all the time brings me so much joy. So I'm gonna continue doing the thing that brings me joy, even though I am currently still not officially making money back. So I would like to make money back overall. Um, that is a huge goal of mine because I am a registered Texas business and I want the state to see that this is a legitimate business. It is not just a hobby. I absolutely love it and I work my butt off for it. So that is one of my biggest goals. Number eight. I want to start showing more of my personality in my YouTube videos. So I feel like, so I've never scripted my YouTube videos. I wanna throw that out there. I've never scripted them. Anytime that you guys hear me talk, I am literally just talking, okay? I wanna throw that out there because I am like a machine. I am always go, 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 go. I am the talkative one in a conversation unless my introverted side comes out because I don't really know you, but um, I am the talkative one. I talk a lot. So I don't script my YouTube videos a lot and I don't really like to cut out my talking because I know some people do like rambles. Like I like listening to people ramble because I ramble. <laughs> but um I do want to start showing my personality off more and just be more me in my YouTube videos I used to be more me in my previous channels I did not care at all in my previous channels and I would just post and I actually had people that would comment when like I don't think YouTube has this anymore because I don't see it on my channel but like when people could like comment on your channel and tell you like that they like your channel and stuff. I've met, I've met friends in, in, in real life. I have friends that I've known since I was like nine years old. Um, Cause I was on YouTube at a really young age at, to now. So nine and I'm, I'm now 23. So I know them in, in real life. I got to meet them in real life and we're really good friends and all that. So um, yeah, I was legit just a real person. Didn't care who I was and I was just like, speaking my truths. To this day, I still speak my truths. I made a video about how I stopped biting my nails and that was a very personal video, which I really need to recreate. Um, but it's cause I, I just didn't care. And to this day, I go back to it and I'm like, you know what? Everything just seems so not scripted or anything, but I feel like I just go from point A to point B and I never have those moments to ramble to you guys. I never have those moments where like you guys really get to know me and it feels like I'm talking to you like right now and I'm just real. So I do want to you guys to be able to see my personality more and understand that, you know, if you see me in person, I am shy. I am a very like, ooh, you know, kind of person, but like on video, I am the way if I knew you personally, because if I know you personally, I do not shut up. I am a very like talkative person. Again, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I just want to show my personality off more. And I am starting to do that already. If you haven't noticed, my videos have getting a little, have been getting a little more personal and just more me. So that is uh, my eighth goal. My ninth goal is to take time to sketch at least once a week. This could be either digitally, this could be either in my notebook, but I am an artist and I actually do art for my full-time job in digital form. You know, sometimes I have to create like digital art, but I do like 
my stomach just growled so loud. But I do um, like instructional design. So I design things, right? So like that's still in the art field. And um, I just want to take time to draw. I would prefer it to be you know, traditional because I actually started as a traditional artist and I love traditional art. And I think I've forgotten how much I love traditional art, mainly because with my business, digital art just transfers better when I'm trying to print something instead of having to scan my traditional art and color fix it and all of that. But yeah, I would just prefer to do traditional art. I do have my notebook and I just got these super cool gel pens. So I'm gonna get like a black notebook. So that's when I'm like, my really big goals is just to take some time once a week at least to sketch and really enjoy the process of drawing and learning how to figure draw more or like thinking of other things I can draw for later on, right? Because I have sketched in the past and then I go back to my sketchbook and I'm like wow I forgot I did that I can actually make this into a concept and create this into a sticker or like you know I just want to allow myself to be a little more creative I do want to be more creative this year even though I have been really creative in the last year with my business but just some personal time creativity right like whether I could use these sketches as drawings later on in the future or not I just want to be able to draw more. So that is my ninth goal. My 10th goal um, is actually uh, taking at least five Skillshare classes this year. So if many of you guys don't know, I don't go to school anymore. I graduated from college back in 2019. Um, I graduated with a certificate in marketing which I always tell people, which you might have seen this on my Instagram story. I always hate when those marketing people on Instagram contact me because I went to school for marketing. Please stop contacting me for marketing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but yes, I went to school for marketing. I'm not going to pay someone to market my stuff. Um, that is honestly not what I am here to do. I am fine marketing myself and uh, just posting about myself. Like, I don't have to have a person marketing my life. Like, I'm, yeah. Anyway, long story short, I went to school for marketing, so I know how to market. Do I know all the tips for marketing? No, because things always change, right? But anyway, I want to take five Skillshare classes um, and if you don't know about Skillshare, this is not, uh, sponsored or anything. I know I'm starting it like those people that have sponsorships with Skillshare. I promise you this is not sponsored by Skillshare, but I really like Skillshare. A friend of mine showed me what Skillshare is actually. I had always heard about YouTubers talking about Skillshare, but I never really knew exactly what it was until a friend of mine told me about Skillshare. And I have taken a couple classes in there. Some were drawing classes, some were um, uh, marketing classes, some were business classes. So I um, really like Skillshare and I want to take five Skillshare classes. I already completed one. I forgot exactly. Oh, it was about um, how to sell online. And then I'm taking one right now that is currently I'm in the middle of it. It's about SEOs and just marketing uh, your website a little bit better with SEOs. I want to take, so that's two classes. I'm gonna, that means I'm gonna complete one more, hopefully soon. And then there's three more that I have available. Those three others, I would actually like to focus them on like drawing, for example, like lighting. So I wanna know how to do shadows more like properly where they're supposed to be shadows and lighting in drawings so i do want to find a like lighting type shadow class that i can take and maybe a figure drawing class i personally do not like to draw a live person um i like when i could see the sketches of like the joints and stuff and i like 
being able to recreate those. Um, I know figure drawing is like pretty much drawing a naked person or drawing like a person that's wearing like nude clothing and like poses and stuff. That's not really my forte. I feel like seeing the joints is more easier for my brain to process and personally I know some people like get past the fact that they're drawing someone that's naked but I do not feel comfortable doing that. I have tried doing it um, on the computer and I feel very uncomfortable doing it. So I, yeah, I would like to do more like figure drawing, but just seeing how people draw the joints and the movement and all that, if that makes sense. So I do want to take five Skillshare classes. That is uh, my last goal for 2022. Um, there is so much more I would like to complete, but I don't like to stretch myself out too, too much. I feel like 10 goals is already a lot, but I feel like they're goals that I could complete. I tried to be more realistic with these type of goals and hopefully I reach my social media goals. You know, those aren't things I could really control minus just making sure I post more and, you know, make content that is entertaining to other people but also makes me happy so you know i hope i can reach those goals for my other ones i have a lot of control in doing those so i really think i could complete them and i can't wait to see at the end of the year when i compare um my new goals that i probably will make in 2023 to my 2022 goals because i love doing that i did that with my small, small business goals and it was awesome I do apologize if you guys ever hear me stumble on my words. I do wear Invisalign, so I have a list sometimes and sometimes I don't because sometimes I have my Invisalign out for eating real quick and then I end up doing a video without realizing I forgot to put it back in. But I just wanted to point that out. If you guys ever hear me stumble on my words, um, it's because of the Invisalign and then my allergy sometimes, so it kind of sounds a little bit wonky. <laughs> I do apologize. It, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video of my 2022 life goals, and I hope it kind of gave y'all a little bit of inspiration to go ahead and create your own goals for the year, whether it is just one or ten goals. Um, you could definitely do that, whether they are short term long-term stretch projects you know whatever you feel is comfortable for you but i feel like goal setting is something that's very important and i actually really enjoy doing because it feels like i have a purpose and makes me definitely grow as a person overall so i recommend it so if you guys want to create your own goals definitely feel free if you want to jot down what one of your biggest goals is this year make sure to go ahead and put that in the comments i'd like to know what kind of goals y'all are aspiring to do this year all right but i am going to sign off because my throat is starting to hurt but we are also at the end of the video and i'm about to cough <laughs> oh my gosh talking so much anyway i hope to see y'all in my next video remember i post every wednesday and thursday at 11 a.m central time and i will see you later don't forget to like and subscribe Bye, everyone. <laughs> Please, I can't have the hair on my mic. You know what? You know what? We're not doing this. We're not doing this. This is eh. going up. This is going up because I can't not today. <laughs> All right. Now I'm hot. I'm right in front of the heater. <laughs> so I still found it except.
I can't with my cats and their pals. Oh my god, okay. And I have gosh dang it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <coughs> I need to blow my nose. But I feel like there are goals that I feel like I could complete. I don't care about Bruno. No, it's we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. I have that song stuck in my head. Because everybody's doing Encanto cosplays. Now it's stuck in my head. Because we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about 